5800LXT is one of the simplest valves to program. When you first power up the valve, you will see four dashes, and the mode indicator will be pointing to the time of day. Press and hold the up arrow button for a few seconds to change the time of day. Then press and hold the regeneration button for one to two seconds to turn off the programming icon. Do not hold the regeneration button for more than one to two seconds, as this will start the system into a regeneration. Now press and release the mode button several times to cycle the mode indicator to the resin setting. If the resin setting is incorrect, press and hold the up or down arrow button for a few seconds to change it to the correct setting. Once again, press and hold the regeneration button for one to two seconds to turn off the programming icon. When you change the resin setting, this will reset all factory parameters back to the original settings. So be sure to change the resin first before making any other changes. Now you can set the time of day, change your time of regeneration, hardness, and set the salt amount. The salt amount is a per cubic foot setting. So if you have a two cubic foot system and you wanted to regenerate with six pounds of salt per cubic foot, you would set this to six pounds. The computer will automatically adjust it to 12 pounds based on your resin setting of two cubic feet. After setting the salt amount, you need to set the day override. Press and hold the mode and regeneration buttons simultaneously for a couple of seconds and you'll see D-0 come up on the screen. Change that to D-30. Now press and hold the regeneration button for one to two seconds to turn off the programming icon. This will lock your programming and programming is now complete. I recommend pressing the mode button and cycling the mode indicator to capacity remaining. The LXT will take up to six weeks to build an accurate algorithm of your water usage, so you may see some unusual readings on the capacity remaining for the first six weeks. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.